I'm Lynn Moore. I own and work at Larry Land Farm. And it's a pick-your-own operation, family-run. I work with my two brothers and my husband here. And we grow fruits and vegetables that we sell pick-your-own in the field. And we also have a farm market where we sell. My father had a dairy farm in the eastern end of Howard County. And uh, one day a man approached him asking if he'd be willing to sell. And it was a good offer. And so he, Dad sold that farm, which was 127 acres, and bought this one, which is 250 acres. Well, there, there's four children. We pretty much grew up here, and Dad was just doing some general farming, hay and corn and soybeans and whatnot, and that wasn't generating enough income to raise the family. So he started growing specialty crops, and that's what got us into the horticultural crops of fruits and vegetables. When he started the specialty crops, it was a new thing to do pick your own. So he did an acre of strawberries and had a lot of problems growing strawberries, and we didn't have such a good crop the first year. The harvest was not very good, but the response was fabulous. And people, he was amazed at how many people were willing to come and pick. So he immediately ordered some fruit trees and more strawberry plants and the operation just grew from that one acre of strawberries. Well, I'm sure you're aware that most farms are passed down to the sons, um, but I spent more time playing with tractors than I did Barbie dolls and so I wanted to farm as well. So the three of us are here. I have an older sister who's not involved in the operation. And so now we grow lots of different crops, um, apples, peaches, plums, tart cherries, sweet cherries, uh, and then we have small fruits, strawberries, blueberries, blackberries, raspberries, several different colors of raspberries, and we um, also grow some vegetables to go along with all of that. So we have uh, cantaloupes and broccoli and spinach and beets and pumpkins and tomatoes, and so quite a wide variety of things. All designed so that the customer can come at their convenience and there will always be quite a few things for them to select from to pick. I think the biggest foe and also our biggest asset is the weather because when you have a beautiful day like today it's very easy to get customers to come outside and want to be on the farm. The weather's not always your friend and it creates a lot of problems and we grow so many different crops that when the weather's just perfect for one crop, it's not necessarily perfect for another crop because one crop needs rain, one crop needs sunshine, one crop needs to be dry, one crop needs to be cool and wet. And you try to balance all that out and you try to moderate Mother Nature. And we just try to grow really good tasting fruits and vegetables. That's basically our goal. I, obviously, I, I'm biased, but a life spent in, in the sunshine, working the soil, and eating fruits and vegetables... Obviously, not everybody can do that, but everybody can enjoy the fruits and vegetables. If you come out and pick them, it's a win-win, and, and you know, you can't have too many peach pies. <laughs>